Hey everyone, today I'm going to share how you can set up cart abandonment with the Digio integration with Salesforce Marketing Cloud and Commerce Cloud, and also how you can handle GDPR compliance. First of all, a little bit about Digio. Digio is a form builder that's deeply integrated with Marketing Cloud and Commerce Cloud, and it allows you to create custom brand compliant forms. Basically, any type of form or widget you can envision, you can build it with Digio. Uh, you can also add unlimited custom fields, including text fields, drop-down fields, date fields, and even hidden fields. So you can collect as much data as you need, and you can also integrate with multiple data extensions and lists from a single form. So it's a very flexible and customizable integration. So a little bit about shopping cart abandonment. Shopping cart abandonment is a big problem for e-commerce sites because almost 70% of shopping carts are abandoned before checkout is completed. If you can capture the email address of shoppers before they exit, you can send follow-up emails to try and recover the sale. These follow-up emails can contain the cart items plus a discount or free gift offer as an incentive to check out. So how can emails be, check, uh, be captured so that you can trigger cart abandonment campaigns? For logged in users, you can retrieve the email from their user account. For logged out or new users, uh, Digio has several strategies that we use to capture email emails. Um, first of all, we can use exit intent light boxes, which pop up when a visitor is about to exit the checkout page. These light boxes often have an offer um, such as a discount or a free gift as an incentive for the visitor to submit their email address. Another strategy that we use are JavaScript event listeners, where, um, which track when an email is entered into the first step of the checkout page form. And when a user hits the tab key, the email can be captured. They don't even need to fill out the whole form, just their email, and we'll capture their email. If you have any other Digio forms on the site, we can use those to capture emails. Um, if you use email merge tags in your newsletters, in your email newsletters, and someone clicks on a link in the newsletter, their email address will be appended to the URL, and we can capture their email from there. If a visitor has previously given you their email address, and they return to the site, even if they're not logged in, we can have their email address stored in a cookie so that if they exit checkout, we can send them cart abandonment emails. So we can use all these strategies. The only consideration is for EU visitors. There are certain restrictions due to GDPR. One issue is that GDPR only allows transactional emails to be sent to logged in visitors. So Digio recognizes whether a visitor is in the EU and triggers cart abandonment emails to logged in users only. Along with the email address, cart items can be passed to your ESP or Salesforce Marketing Cloud so that when people click on the link in an email, their cart can be rebuilt when they go back to your site so it's super easy for them to check out. Shopping cart abandonment for non-EU visitors is a, lot, is a lot more straightforward because we can use various strategies to uh, trigger cart abandonment. We can send transactional emails to either logged in or logged out visitors, so we can use um, JavaScript, event uh, JavaScript event listeners, form submissions, email merge tags, or cookied email addresses. One of the really cool things about the Digio integration with Marketing Cloud is that we can pass your data, including cart items, in real time, so that means we can trigger emails as soon as the data is submitted. We don't need to store the data also, because it's passed directly to you, which is great if you have GDPR concerns. It's a very flexible and customizable integration, that, and we can set it up however you need it to pass whatever data you need to pass to your ESP or marketing cloud. Since many shoppers are shopping on mobile now, we've come up with ways to trigger cart abandonment on mobile. The way we do this is we use an idle timer. For example, the idle timer can detect if the shopper has been idle on the checkout page for more than three seconds. And also, we use a URL targeting rule that prevents shopping cart abandonment from being triggered if the visitor has visited the final, final page in your checkout process. A new feature that we're excited about is that you can add a delay, such as an hour, before an email is triggered. This is to account for people that may come back and finish shopping um, so that we don't trigger shopping cart abandonment emails too soon. If you have any questions about our integration with Marketing Cloud and Commerce Cloud, and shopping cart abandonment, uh, come over to digio.com salesforce and we'll be happy to answer your questions and show you around Digio.